Hi, this is Roger Grimes, the InfoWorld Security Advisor, following up my popular uh, column and video on how to detect malware infection in nine easy steps. I wrote that column and talked about the uh, neat Microsoft uh, Sys Internals program process explore and how you could use it to clean or detect malware in your computer. I uh, followed that up with a video uh, InfoWorld uh, made called a free almost full way to check, foolproof way to check for your malware. Uh, very popular and by popular domain I've been asked to follow that up with okay we can detect malware well how do we remove it if after we detect it and there's a couple of steps. First of all uh, you've got to think that anytime you find malware, whether it's uh, some type of virus or trojan or pestware or something like that, that really the only safe thing that you can do is to either reformat, reset, or recover your PC. Uh, I'm going to talk about everything past that, but just know that if you don't reset everything, you really can't be sure that you got rid of the um, malware or the pestware. Uh, so that's always your best bet. Uh, these days, used to be you had to reformat your computer. These days, you can reset it or recover it in some way. A lot of uh, vendors have the utility. It's also built into Windows. You can literally go to the Ask Me Anything bar and say, tell me how to reset my PC, and it will bring up an option uh, allowing you to reset the PC and ask you whether or not you want to lose everything, remove everything, or keep uh, just your applications and files. Again, the safest thing to do is remove everything or to reset it to brand new. Uh, but a lot of people don't want to do that or don't have the time to do that or don't mind having the risk. So what do you do after that? Well, certainly one of the best things you can do is use your antivirus software to remove it. Now, these days, a lot of antivirus programs uh, are having a hard time detecting every single virus out there or malware program out there. There's literally tens of millions of individual uh, malicious programs being made every month. Very difficult for them to be 100% accurate. Uh, but if you think you found some malware, one of the best things you can do is try to get an antivirus program to remove it. If your antivirus program doesn't detect it, you can always uh, submit, it, submit the sample of that program to your antivirus vendor. Every antivirus vendor has this particular feature. Usually it's built within the antivirus scanner program itself, or you can submit a sample uh, of that malware program up on the internet. Of course, one of my favorites is always just to use Process Explorer, because Process Explorer, as I covered in my last uh, program, video, uh, it will run and submit that sample, your malware sample, against fit up to 57 antivirus engines. So if you remember in the last video, talked about if you use Pro Sys Internals Process Explorer and you sub tell it to submit, you have to go to options, virustotal.com, and tell it to check virustotal.com uh, and submit your running executables to that uh, website. Uh, that's owned by Google, uh, and then it will tell you how many antivirus programs did, said that something was malicious or pestware out of, uh, that it was submitted to. In this case, like this example says, out of the 58 uh, antivirus engines we submitted it to, zero found it to be malicious. Uh, usually if you're using Process Explorer, you go look for the red things. Uh, if you see one out of something or anything in red that's something to be suspicious of, a lot of times if you see one out of something, uh, it could be a false positive. Sometimes it's, it's pestware or something malicious. But just know if you see one out of something, uh, you can't always be sure that it's malicious. Uh, if you see anything above one out of something, like two out of something, four out of something, uh, it could be uh, pestware or malware. Uh, and one of the things you can do if, if, if some program is, if uh, Virus Total is telling you that it's detected, uh, different antivirus engines have detected this thing as being pestware or malware, you can click right on this link and it will open up a browser that will take you to and tell you what antivirus engines are detecting it as malicious or pestware. And you can go to those websites then and download these legitimate antivirus programs and they will clean the program for you. Uh, so that's always one of the best things you can do. But let's assume that you can't find an, easily find an antivirus so you don't want to install a new antivirus to detect something. I'm a big fan of using uh, Sys Internals auto runs. You can download auto runs uh, from Microsoft. You can go to sysinternals.com, look for the auto runs program, download and install that. 
And again, I usually do the same thing with Process Explorer. I go to the Microsoft Sys Internals website and I download Process Explorer. Those are two indispensable utilities I always use as a professional when looking for malware. And if you can run auto runs, auto runs will usually tell you what programs are auto loading. Malware almost always auto loads itself in some sort of way, either in the registry or task scheduler or something like that. So if you've identi identified something that you think may be malware, and again, I'm going back to Process Explorer here, but it could be your antivirus telling you. Suppose I want to get rid of um, driver update or something like that. Uh, again, I can go here using auto runs and start to look for that program. Here I see that there is driver update two drivers updates and I can and task scheduler and I can unselect though th this will turn that off I also usually when I'm looking at these programs I usually will right click them and take note go go uh, look at properties of those files and find out where they're located how they're running in this case it tells me if the location is under program files x86 driver update so if I have to manually remove it I can go remove it at that location I usually write it down I can also remove it in this case if it's in task scheduler uh, and you can look at all the different programs all the different areas that Microsoft has identified is allowing programs to automatically start looking for driver update And if I look under the Everything tab, it's going to show me all the different places that uh, legitimate programs and or malware or pestware could hide to run again. Or if you can go under these individual tabs, and they kind of take it into a smaller uh, place where you can look and explore the different options one set at a time. And again, there's driver update, and by unselecting them, when I restart the computer, uh, those I, it will not automatically restart, at least using those options. You, you, used to, you do have to be pretty thorough here and make sure you go through the list of everything and remove uh, things that you think are malicious or pestware. Uh, if, a lot of times, if it has a publisher, usually it's, it's a good thing. Uh, you're not always sure about it, but like here's something. Um, called app locker and I'm not really sure whether this is legitimate or not if you wanted to you could uh, tell it to uh, search online for that option and that would start your browser and then you could read more about it uh, but certainly if you see programs that have been verified from Intel and HP and lots of these other places that you're familiar with you can trust them so particularly particularly I'm just looking at things that don't have a publisher a lot of times you can simply go uninstall the program it's very very common these days that malware uh, can simply or pestware probably pestware more often can just be uninstalled just like any other program uh, so uh, the, the, I've been doing uh, uh, malware removal and pestware removal for almost 30 years and I can tell you that these steps will remove probably 99% of all malware and potentially unwanted programs. Uh, again, you know, the best safest thing you can do is reformat, reset, or recover your PC. After that, the next best thing you can do is use an antivirus program to remove it. If your antivirus program doesn't recognize it, you can submit a sample to it. Then if that doesn't work, I like to use SysInternals or Microsoft SysInternals Auto Runs or SysInternals Process Explorer to uh, make those programs not automatically run and also to kill the process. You can try uninstalling the program as well. That's a nice little uh, added feature. Then reboot your computer and then rescan it again using Antivirus or Process Explorer. And if it's still there, try again. Sometimes it'll take me two or three shots overall to get rid of everything. Uh, and then if that doesn't work, if you've tried a couple of times and rebooted a couple of times and that program is still seeming to live and fighting you, maybe it's best to use an expert. Well, thank you for your time, and I wish you good luck. And Phil, if you have any questions, you can send them to me at roger underscore grimes at infoworld.com. Cool.